Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to showcase uh, a few of my Rod Carew cards. I've got a pretty good run. Uh, of course I do have uh, his rookie uh, 67 that he shares with Hank Allen, is it? And uh, back here, uh, not here on site. So um, I'm just going to uh, start here in 1968 here. A little bit of a glare there, apologize for that, but it gets really dark in here if I have the lights off. Really cool 68 card, shows that All-Star Rookie Cup. Yeah, he started in the League Gangbusters, man. He's already becoming an All-Star in 68. And just uh, was a consistent hitter throughout his whole career. Tops, interesting enough, using the same image, even though that's a higher number. And they could have probably gotten the rights to get another shot. Uh, oddly enough, that picture right there of that All-Star is not Rod Carew swinging. That's Lou Brock. If you look at uh, one of the World Series cards from, it shows uh, Lou Brock. Do it. It's Lou Brock swinging that card, swinging that bat left-handed like that. So that's kind of interesting. I'm sorry. Let me zoom out and I'll zoom back in again. Uh, there's the Deckle Edge, same photo again. Then finally, in 1970, we get our first alternate shot of his own player card. Once again, he's an all-star there again. Cool Kellogg's. Not so cool, but an interesting piece with that Milton Bradley, 1970. Got a really nice 71. 71 Dell team stamp. 72. Now both of these are high numbers. So they're pricey. Cool card of him uh, swinging the bat and in action there. Don't see many of him out in the field. He's definitely known as a batter. There he is, actually, in a, in a, as I say it, in a fielding stance. Sharing the uh, batting leaders with uh, Billy Williams. It's Kellogg's from 73. On to 74. He shares the uh, all-star card for second baseman with Joe Morgan. And then that's a nice 74. 74 Kellogg's. And then 75. I've actually met Rod Carew uh, back maybe 2000, 2001. I was a sailor on the Abraham Lincoln and he came on board. It was right after the California Angels had won the World Series. And um, he came on to do a uh, little goodwill spreading and shook my hand. Um, kind of surprised me because I walked right out of a, a space on the ship and there was Rod Crew. And he just said, hey, just want to thank you for your service. So shook my hand. And I just remember this hands being extremely uh, soft but strong. He had a strong grip. And he just, just like somebody that really took care of himself. And uh, was a really cool experience, man, let me tell you. And then uh, cool, like that 76 is cool. We got a 76 Kellogg's. I've always liked that uh, 77. Now he's a first baseman. Uh, 77, did he win the MVP that year? He, he had a really high average that year, I think. 78, 78 leaders card. Another cool card is 79. Now when it came to Carew, I really wasn't interested into his like 80 stuff because he's going all the way up into 86. Uh, had a very long and consistent career. But uh, I was primarily trying to get the vintage stuff, so it kind of tapers off here in the early 80s. And then I've got a couple more cards that I'll show here. Just an 81 Don Ross, 84. And then this 86 Fleer card commemorating his 3,000th hits. I believe he's got an 86 Tops and 86 Don Ross as well. So it's like you can get his stuff all the way up to 86, but just a totally, uh, a, just a consistent, consistent hitter. And uh, just wanted to showcase that. Uh, once again, everyone, appreciate your posts, your comments, and I'll talk to you again soon.